have you ever tried accepting user input that is accepting the numbers to be calculated from the user and thereafter performing a calculation if you want to know how we can easily accept user input then i suggest you to follow this tutorial until the end and if you are a beginner i suggest you to go through our entire kotlin playlist so that you can easily get started with the kotlin programming <music> In this vlog, we will try to see how we accept user input in Kotlin programming. So accepting a user input plays a key role in your programming. It makes your entire program a dynamic way. For example, whenever you are trying to make use of a calculation in your programming. So by default, when you provide default values and try to calculate, it works well and good. But have you ever tried? accepting user input that is accepting the numbers to be calculated from the user and thereafter performing a calculation if you want to know how we can easily accept user input then i suggest you to follow this tutorial until the end so that you can get a good knowledge on how to accept user input in a easier way so first of all let us consider main function here so now let us consider a variable a equal to so first of all we are trying to accept a number to calculate so this is the first number we are trying to accept here so we are making use of read line here so here you can see we are making use of a method read line and it is of a type string here you can see so whenever you are trying to implement any new thing which you are not aware i suggest you to just go through the documentation available here so when you tap on this read line and here you can just go through the documentation it is like it's of a type string here let us try to consider the another variable here b equal to and this is also of a type read line here so now we will be trying to print the addition of these two values now so now let us try to run this code and see the output once we got an empty console here so here it is accepting us to provide a user input here so now let us try to provide 1 and 2 here so we have got 12 here why because as we have seen read line is of a type string here so you need to convert it to integer now so 2 int so this is the easier way to convert a string to integer and here you will be getting an error because the input may be null sometimes so it is asking you to make it a safe call by providing non-null asserted symbol here or safe call symbol so if you are having any queries in this null handling we have seen in our previous tutorial so i am providing the link in the description section below so i suggest you to go through it to get a detailed view on how we are handling null in kotlin so the same for b also so 2 int and if you are a beginner and don't know why the error is coming up then you can just follow this particular documentation available here so now let's try to run this code and see it now so this time when you add 1 plus 2 you will be getting 3 here so that's what the exact output which we require right so this is how we accept an user input so if you just want to have a string then just you can remove this two integer and here you can just try to print the string as it is so now whenever you are trying to provide a string that string is successfully accepted and is printed to the console now also there is another way how we can accept a user input in kotlin programming so if you are coming from a java background i think you might have already knew this how we accept a user input in java so we make use of a scanner class right so now let us try to use it also in kotlin and see does this work here so scanner and system dot and you can't directly provide dot in here because it doesn't accept so you can't directly use in here 
why because it's a reserve keyword in kotlin and we use this in for loop we have seen in our previous tutorials so to make sure you escape you need to just provide here back ticks before and after in here so now let us try to make sure you use this variable c also with our a and b here to make sure we use scanner we are making use of the variable c here but also you need to make sure you are making use of an integer you are accepting a value of integer here so whenever you make use of next int it will automatically accept a variable of type integer here so now let us try to run this code and see the output once whether this works the same or not so 1 2 and 3 so you totally got an output like 6 here and it works the same as before so the scanner class works the same like read line here and also here just like our read line you can also accept a string so now make sure you just comment these two lines before performing this query so that whenever you try to run without commenting these two lines the console will try to accept a and b then only it will move to c so now let us try to provide kotlin here and here you can see we got kotlin to be printed onto our console just by using this scanner class so yes uh, this is what i want to explain you in this particular tutorial how to accept a user input so i hope you understood the concept of accepting user input in kotlin programming so if you are still having any queries do let me know in the comment section below and if you like this tutorial do like share and subscribe to our channel for more interesting content